Hello everyone, this is a construction site status update and uh, today it's 5-23-2021 uh, so it's basically May 23rd on a Sunday and I'm recording this around 4.30 p.m. This is the status update of the residential housing project by KB Homes and uh, corner of Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and Hamasha Boulevard. As you can see, most of these homes are near completion. When the last time we visited this place, uh, these uh, houses were still and, uh, you know, wooden frame uh, status, or I should say, the progress, the drywall or, you know, the tiles and all that wasn't even there. Now, as you can see, the stucco, the drywall, everything has been completed. And these houses are looking beautiful. These homes are so beautiful. Again, this I'm not being paid by the builder. So this is my personal opinion. And your opinion may not be the same as mine. So I'm not for or against this. I'm just giving you unbiased opinion. Uh, because some of these homes are occupied. Uh, be, uh, we have to respect the residents' privacy, so we won't be flying very low. And uh, it's going to be from a higher elevation, just to show you the, the sites that are under the construction. The homes that have been completed and occupied, we will just browse quickly above them, and we will not be pointing at them or zooming at them. As you can see, all these homes have solar panels which is excellent being a homeowner with a solar panel i can tell you it does make a difference in your electrical uh, electric bill uh, you will notice substantial amount of drop in your electric bill and it sure does help you in the long summer months when you're running the air conditioning and all that remember that having a solar panel when you are not using electricity, let's say you're on vacation and the solar panel is sitting on top of your roof, is not a complete waste. That will simply spin your electric meter in reverse. Basically, you are selling electricity back to the San Diego Gas and Electric instead of using or buying it from them. So it's, it's very good. It's a very good concept to have solar panels. And by code, California building code, it's required for the new homes to have solar panels. As you can see, the tiles are piled up on the right and left on these new homes to be, uh, you know, distributed evenly on the rooftops. And wow, look at that. That whole area, it didn't have the wooden framework. It was only foundation. Now they have the bottom concrete slabs and the wooden framework. Wow. Isn't that something? And as you can see, the last two, even the second floor, uh, the flooring of the second floor uh, has been, you know, framed. And you can see the wooden framework for the second floor as well. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast the, the, the work progresses. I mean, these, these guys aren't wasting time. They are not wasting time at all. Look at that. And uh, keep in mind that these homes are being built by KB Homes, so when you say KB Homes, it's it's a good quality home. They're good quality. Now I'm not saying this, like I said, I'm saying this firsthand because I bought a KB Home house at San Marcos, and Escondido. No, actually, the Escondido home was Michael Cruz. Uh, the the San Marcos home that I bought was KB Homes, and it was very good quality. They don't cut corners to jeopardize the safety of the house. They do good foundation, good piping, good wiring. So I was impressed. Uh, these, uh, the house on this side, as you can see, they are near completion. All they need is probably the front, um, uh, the paintwork, the, the roofing, and the front lawn and back uh, concrete uh, driveway and all that. So basically, that's the only thing that's left to be done. I don't know what the prices of these homes are. You, you're gonna have to contact uh, KB Homes about them, but they're in the mid 700s, like 750 plus minus, give or take. 
and these homes as you can see they are in the you know foundation has been dug and uh, they're basically in the foundation level all the wiring and piping all that is complete and uh, the foundation concrete slab hasn't been poured in yet uh, other than that these homes should be ready anytime soon i'm sure in my next update we will have some wooden framework on those as well and uh, here we have the park uh, the park there's there isn't much ch change on the park because the park was completed already so there's not much different than what it used to be uh, except that i see more green uh, more grass and other than that it's a pretty nice little park okay now we are going to show you the uh, lanar homes which is in the corner of Sweetwater Springs Boulevard in Austin Drive where the post office is. So that white building in the upper right corner is the post office. As you can see, this construction zone is also coming up rapidly. The work is going very, very fast. The houses are beautiful. What an asset to our community. What an asset to our neighborhood. I mean, this, this place was completely <coughs> abandoned parking lot with some uh, businesses and uh, some abandoned businesses like family food used to be here and it was completely abandoned they closed down and they never reopened <coughs> uh, as you can see these homes are they have their own style and their own look uh, they have more like a European style I, I would say uh, with the uh, homes the the shape of the windows and all that they look more like the houses i see in germany and uh, they're beautiful very very beautiful you can never uh, you know say they are anything less than what we saw in kb homes homes uh, these are also very very beautiful homes and wow look how much how rapidly uh, the work is you know moving along here these homes they weren't even built even the even the concrete slab wasn't there last time i came which was 15 days ago and look not only that the concrete slabs are complete even all the uh wood wooden framework has been completed all the two by fours are up and they're just waiting for uh, these this section is waiting for the second floor and these sections they have already completed the foundation Again, this is the water accumulation area where they don't want the construction zone debris to be, you know, going on, out on the street. So they have a little accumulation area. This builder is really abiding by the code and, and their, their work is awesome. It's very good uh, because they keep all their dust and debris contained. Uh, every time when I see, when I drive by and I see these... Uh, you know, heavy duty machinery moving uh, dirt, uh, they spray water so the, you know, they don't create a lot of, you know, big dust uh, uh, pollution and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, these homes are so beautiful and just like the KB homes, they are also equipped with uh, beautiful solar panels on the top. And uh, yeah, they have nice solar panels. Now, one thing I notice on these homes, that they don't have driveways but they do have uh, garages for some let me see is there a garage yeah they do have garages but not no driveways so you're gonna have to park your car in your garage or on the side of the street of course and uh, these this section wasn't even there last time this work is going fast the work is progress the work progress is so rapid because these uh, homes even the framework wasn't there before and I'm talking only 15 days ago like not you know two weeks ago as you can see there is no work because this video was shot uh, on a Sunday so there is no work going on and I don't I, I, I think this gate right here is separating the section where the homes have been occupied from the ones that are being under construction so basically the ones that are on the right have been you know fully 
uh, occupied and finished and you know it's it's ready for residents to move in these sites are also going to be having some homes built on them but they are not ready yet and as far as this site is concerned as you can see foundations are there now I'm gonna go a little higher to give you a perspective of the entire project from a distance uh, so you could see what's the final outcome in the layout of this housing project I am very optimistic that uh, these beautiful homes will not only add value to our neighborhoods it will also be increasing the safety and uh, you know of our neighborhoods because before these homes were built uh, this place was like uh, there were there was a lot of illegal dumping going on and graffiti and all that kind of stuff which i'm sure it will be under control now so as you can see right there uh, this is like the entire area that's covered by this beautiful housing community and you know there's a there's a school right next to it on the right there's a little i believe it's elementary school uh, but you know nevertheless it's a school for kids to go there so you have school right next to you here you have the post office on your left side and the freeway access is no more than five minutes uh, so this this should be a very nice neighborhood and a very convenient place to live. And the only thing is that the nearest grocery store is at least a mile away, one mile away. Okay, so that's the report, the update. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and my YouTube channel so I could give you additional updates. And by the way, this is the lake, you know, Sweetwater Lake, which isn't too far. From this community and that is dictionary hill there and that's the pacific ocean thank you for watching have a great day